Hi, in this video I'm going to talk about the gearing options available on an electric Brompton. When I was ordering my bike, I couldn't find much on the internet to help me, so I'm hoping this video might be useful to you. The electric Brompton has a choice of a two-speed or a six-speed gear option. I'm going to talk about how they work, how they compare in price, what impact they have on the weight of the bike, and more importantly, what the gear ratios actually mean. The two-speed model uses a single handlebar mounted gear shifter. To change up gear you press with your thumb in towards the centre of the bike and release. To change down again you pull the shifter away from the centre of the bike and release. It's a traditional rear derailleur setup with two exterior mounted cogs and to change gear you need to keep cycling but ease off pressure on the pedals. On the six-speed model you get a second gear shifter on the right side of the handlebar. This works the same way. You press the thumb in towards the centre of the bike to go up a gear, and you pull away and release to go down a gear. But this time, rather than a simple plus and minus position, you've got one, two, and three. This changes the gear in the Sterney Archer internal gear hub. So unlike the derailleur gear, to change gear, you actually have to stop pedalling to do the shifting. The strange combination of a rear derailleur and an internal gear hub means, in theory, the gear changing can be quite complicated. To go up evenly for the six gears, in theory, you should work from minus one to plus one to minus two to plus two to minus three and plus three. But in reality, it's very rare that you would work up all the way through the gears evenly. So now we've covered what the gears are, let's talk about the price. The two-speed model is £2,595 currently on the Brompton website and the six-speed is £2,715. So it's an additional £120, so about 5%. So personally, I don't think it's too much for the additional functionality. Let's talk about weight. The two-speed bike weighs in at 16.6 kilograms and the six-speed bike weighs in at 17.4 kilograms. So it's about an 800 gram increase for the extra gears, about 5% again. So the last and probably most important thing is to talk about the gear ratios that these bikes give you. I wanted to compare the Brompton two-speed electric with a Brompton six-speed electric against the current bike that I own, which is a three-speed Brompton, which I've owned for about seven years. In the years I've owned the three-speed model, I found the three gears on the bike are really perfect and they give you such a good range. First gear is perfect if you've got a bit of a hill and at the top ends you've got third gear if you're really up to speed and there's no headwind. So to help compare the three models I've put the chainring sizes into a gear calculator and this has given me uh, values for meters travelled per crank revolution for each of the gearing in all three models of bike. And this is what I've plotted on the graph. So if we compare the electric two-speed Brompton with the current three-speed manual Brompton I have, you'll straight away see that the two-speed electric Brompton has less of a range covered by the two gears. The first gear is quite a bit higher, which doesn't probably matter because as it's an electrically assisted bike, you probably don't need that really low gear. But of more concern to me was the top gear is actually quite a bit lower than the top gear I have in the three speed model. And given that I spend a lot of time cycling with my manual three speed Brompton in third gear, I was concerned that I would be really lacking an additional top gear on the two speed electric Brompton. So now let's flip over and compare the three speed manual Brompton I have with the six speed electric Brompton. Straight away you'll see that the six-speed electric Brompton has a huge gear range. On my current three-speed I spend an awful lot of time cycling with it in second or third gear so I really wanted to make sure that the new bike I brought covered those ratios really well and if you look at the six-speed electric Brompton you'll see that it actually has three gears that covers the same and more gear ratios. And another important consideration is that on the six-speed Brompton, it's an electric Brompton, so that means you're probably actually going to be cycling faster, so those higher gears are even more important. Having ridden the electric Brompton for about a week now, 
I'm finding I'm spending most of my time cycling in those top three gears, especially that top gear on a smooth road with no headwinds. That's a very easy gear to use on the electric bike. Probably of less use are the bottom three gears. Uh, to be honest, I've hardly used them since getting the electric Brompton. However, the only thing I would say is I've been using it on flat roads. So maybe if I hit a steep hill, I might change down and need those lower gears. And the other reason you might want those lower gears is, remember, this is an electric Brompton. So at some point, the battery is going to weigh out on you. And at that point, those lower three gears might be quite useful to you, especially if you're riding with the bike loaded up or up hills. So when I came to choosing between a two-speed electric Brompton or a six-speed electric Brompton and trying to make the decision, ultimately, it was driven by the fact that I ruled out the two-speed as I decided it just didn't have the gear range that I wanted and had become used to in my three-speed. And so therefore, I bought the six-speed. Yes, it does cost 5% more and does add a bit more weight, but the major benefit is the increased range of gears that you get, and I think it's worth it. Yes, I haven't used the lowest gears much yet, but I've been mostly riding on flat terrain and I haven't yet ridden on a long enough ride to run the battery flat. Maybe if I hit a hill with a flat battery, I'll be glad of those low gears. I hope this helps you make a choice and thanks for watching.